The refrigerator. Is it just a cold box for your foodstuffs? Or is it more? Can we learn something about people by looking into their private polar repository? I think yes. What do we have here? Last night's leftover chicken casserole? Meat in loaf fashion. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And a little Riesling to take the edge off. Any guesses? You're looking at the fridge of a mom. But we are just getting started. Hmm. Here we see various colors and levels of sports drink, remnants of orange chicken, five different hot sauces, and a mysterious Tupperware of brown. As you might have ascertained, this is the refrigerator of any male living by himself ages 18 to 32. Pitiful, really. Hopefully he meets someone soon. Okay, I see a carton of eggs with six missing. One peanut butter cup, a half-eaten carrot cake, three cans of soda pop, and half a slice of pizza. This is the fridge of a pessimist. Or an optimist. Could go either way, really. Whoa, Nelly. Here we see magazine cutouts, pictures of a man taken from afar, a homemade doll of Don Cheadle, roasted red pepper hummus, and a severed human arm. Why, yes, we are looking into the refrigerator of a serial killer. You really should put that arm in the freezer. Oh my, look what we have here. A grand feast. Ripe fruit, steaming plump turkey legs, wheels of cheese, brightly colored neon frosting pies. What's that? You don't see it? Well, you're just not believing. There you go, you're believing. Don't stop believing. Yes, there. It's the refrigerator of the Lost Boys from the film Hook. Mmm, bangerang. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is that pudding? Why, yes, it's pudding. Lots and lots of nothing but pudding. Whose refrigerator is this? This is my refrigerator. I'm the narrator. And I love pudding. I'm also your biological father. Your mother was insane. She fell in love with that monkey that the Russians sent up into space. I was working the mines, titanium ore. I'd sneak you in each morning in a satchel and then put you into a bin of titanium ore on the way out each evening. If you have asthma, this is probably why. But you probably also like butterscotch pudding, and I've got a lot of that. So I apologize for putting you up for adoption, but I would like to reconnect and enjoy pudding with you in the present. <laughs>